Ever wondered what hacking really is? Delve into the mysterious world of hackers with us today. You've seen it in movies, read about it in the news, perhaps even imagined it as a shadowy figure behind a computer screen. But hacking in reality is far more complex and multifaceted. It's not always about cyber criminals stealing your personal information, nor is it exclusively about secret government agencies spying on citizens. Hacking, in its most basic form, is the practice of finding and exploiting weaknesses in a system, usually a computer system. It's a skill, a form of art for some, which is often misunderstood and misrepresented. The media tends to focus on the negative aspects, creating a common misconception that all hackers are inherently malicious. But that's not the full story. There are different types of hackers, each with their own motives, methods, and ethics. So, hold on tight as we unravel the true nature of hacking and hackers. Hackers, contrary to popular belief, are not always the bad guys. This statement might raise a few eyebrows, but let's delve deeper to understand why. In the world of cybersecurity, hackers are broadly categorized into three types, white hat, black hat, and gray hat hackers. Each category has its own unique characteristics and objectives. First, let's talk about white hat hackers. These are the good guys, the ethical hackers. They use their skills to find vulnerabilities or weaknesses in a system, but unlike their nefarious counterparts, they do this with permission. Their primary goal is to improve system security. They're like your friendly neighborhood security guard, always on the lookout for potential threats and working tirelessly to fix them. Moving on, we have black hat hackers. These are the ones often portrayed in movies and media as the villains of the cyber world. They break into systems illegally, with malicious intent. Their objectives can range from stealing sensitive information, causing system disruptions, to even demanding ransom in exchange for data. In essence, they exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or to cause harm. Lastly, we have gray hat hackers who walk the line between the previous two categories. They often operate without permission like black hats, but their intent is usually to improve system security like white hats. They'll find a vulnerability, exploit it, but then inform the system's owner about it. Their actions are a mixed bag, sometimes seen as helpful, other times as invasive. These categories help us understand that hacking isn't just a one-dimensional concept. It's a spectrum, where the intent and actions of the hacker determine their place. This understanding is crucial in our digital age, where these skills can either protect or threaten our virtual existence. As we can see, not all hackers have malicious intentions. White hat hackers, the ethical hackers, are the knights in shining armor in the digital world. Now you might be wondering, what exactly does a white hat hacker do? Simply put, they use their skills for good, helping to protect systems and data from those with less noble intentions. They're the digital equivalent of a security guard, keeping a watchful eye on the cyber world for any potential threats. White hat hackers are cybersecurity professionals. They are often employed by organizations to ensure their digital infrastructure is safe and secure. They are the ones who systematically test the defenses of a system, looking for any vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious hackers, also known as black hat hackers. In the world of white hat hackers, there's something called penetration testing or pen testing for short. This is a method of evaluating the security of a system by mimicking an attack from a malicious source. The white hat hacker plays the role of an attacker, trying to break into the system to uncover any weak spots. Another role of white hat hackers is to develop security systems that can withstand these attacks. They are the architects of digital fortresses, building and reinforcing walls to keep out intruders. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of a white hat hacker's role is staying up to date with the latest hacking techniques. The world of cybersecurity is a constant cat and mouse game, with hackers continually developing new methods to bypass security measures. To counter this, white hat hackers must be on the cutting edge of technology, always learning, always adapting. Now you might be asking, why do we need white hat hackers? Well, in an age where our lives are becoming more and more digitized, the importance of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. From our personal information to our financial data, we entrust a great deal of sensitive information to digital systems. White hat hackers help to ensure that this information remains safe and secure. White hat hackers are indeed a crucial line of defense in our increasingly digital world. On the other side of the spectrum we have the notorious black hat hackers. These are the individuals that most people think of when they hear the term hacker. They're the digital outlaws of the internet often motivated by personal or financial gain, and sometimes just the sheer thrill of breaking into a system. Black hat hackers are known to engage in a wide range of illegal activities. They might create and spread malware, 
conduct phishing attacks or exploit security vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to systems. Some of them are involved in cyber espionage or even cyber warfare. Their actions can wreak havoc on individuals and businesses alike. Imagine waking up one day to find your personal information splashed all over the internet, or a business discovering that its sensitive data has been stolen and sold on the dark web. That's the kind of impact black hat hackers can have. They can cause immense damage, not just financially, but also to a person's or a company's reputation. It's not just about the big corporations though. Small businesses and individuals are equally at risk. In fact, small businesses can be seen as easier targets as they may not have as robust security measures in place, and individuals may not be as vigilant about their digital security, making them ripe targets for black hat hackers. But it's not all doom and gloom. The threat of black hat hackers has led to the rise of ethical hacking. White hat hackers, as we discussed in the previous scene, use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities before the black hats can exploit them. They're the digital sheriffs, if you will, trying to keep the internet safe for us all. So, while black hat hackers pose significant threats, their existence has also pushed us to continuously improve our digital security measures. It has created a sort of digital arms race where we're constantly trying to stay one step ahead of these digital outlaws. Black hat hackers pose significant threats to our digital security. But remember, with awareness and the right preventative measures, we can protect ourselves and our digital assets from these threats. Walking the thin line between right and wrong, we have the gray hat hackers. Now, these are the enigmatic figures of the hacking world. They're not as virtuous as the white hat hackers, who use their skills for the greater good, yet they aren't as malicious as the black hat hackers, who exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain. They exist somewhere in between, in a realm that's not entirely black or white, hence the term, gray hat. Gray hat hackers are often motivated by curiosity and a desire to challenge their own skills. They're the ones who might hack into a system without permission, but instead of exploiting the vulnerabilities they find for personal gain, they'll often inform the system's owner about the weaknesses. They can be seen as a sort of vigilante operating outside of the law, but often with good intentions. However, their activities can still be illegal. Just because they don't exploit the vulnerabilities they find doesn't mean they're not breaking the law by accessing systems without permission. This is where the gray area lies. Despite their good intentions, their actions can still have serious consequences, and they can face legal repercussions. In the hacker spectrum, gray hat hackers provide a unique perspective. They challenge the conventional understanding of what it means to be a hacker. They demonstrate how hacking isn't just a malicious act, but can also be a tool for improvement and growth. They show us that the world of hacking is complex and multifaceted, and not simply a matter of good versus evil. The role of gray hat hackers is ambiguous and often misunderstood. They can be seen as both heroes and villains, depending on your perspective. They push the boundaries of what's considered acceptable in the hacking community, and their actions often spark debates about ethics and legality in the cyber world. Gray hat hackers as we see operate in a morally complex universe. Their actions, while often well-intentioned, can lead to serious legal consequences, yet they also play a crucial role in identifying and addressing security vulnerabilities. It's a delicate balance, and one that continues to shape the intriguing world of hacking. As we draw to a close, it's clear that hacking is no black and white matter. We've navigated the shadowy labyrinth of cyber manipulation, illuminating the various hues of hackers the white hats, digital knights in shining armor, who use their skills to fortify and defend. They're the good guys, working tirelessly to keep our data safe and our systems secure. Then there's the black hats, the notorious villains of the virtual world. They break barriers not for the greater good, but for personal gain or to cause chaos. They're the ones you hear about in the news, causing data breaches and spreading malware. And let's not forget the gray hats, the enigmatic figures who straddle the line between right and wrong. They're the hackers who might break the rules but do so to expose vulnerabilities, often with the intention of improving security. Remember in the world of hacking, not everything is as it seems. Stay curious, stay vigilant, 